Welcome to the Pastor Fisher Podcast with your co-host Dwayne T and yours truly. Now let's get started. What's up? Welcome, hello, welcome, hello, hello, hello. welcome, welcome, welcome yes. again to the Pastor Fisher Show Podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed, indeed. Yes, indeed. we are back. We are back. And guess what? God is good all, all the time. time. And all the time, God, God is, is good. good. Come on, give it up. Give it up. That's right. Yes, y'all yes, know what's yes, up. Yes. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh-huh. Hello. What's going on? What's Pastor going on? Fisher. Hello. How y'all doing? <laughs> yes, yes, oh, yes, man. yes. We are That's back again for another yep. episode of the yep, Pastor yep. Fisher Show podcast. We are, we thank you so much for joining in with us today. And we indeed, have indeed. our wonderful y'all know who he is, the co-host. <laughs> of this yeah. show and we are honored <laughs> to have him be the co-host mm. of this show the one who keeps me in check <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. and keeps me level <laughs> right now because y'all know i go way out there where he reels me back in <laughs> hey man uh, I, I say, let, let's I keep try. it at a point <laughs> he does a, yeah you do a good job of it the one and only the voice of reasoning for this show mr dwayne t hey. <laughs> Yes, thank you for being here. Yeah, man. Yeah, Dwayne, good. Dwayne, how you doing, yes, man? I'm I'm good. I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm great. Yeah. yeah. Like I just told you God that's is awesome. good. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. Hey, but when you ask twice, then you get the real answer. So there exactly, you go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 Well, everything is yeah. good. Thank you so yeah. much for being here and everybody yeah. else that is tuning in. We 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 reiterate <laughs> of how much we appreciate how much you you're here with us today, taking time right. out of your busy day and your time to be here to uh, listen to what we have to say. And we just thank Absolutely. you as the Lord leads us. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. 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 Well, well, you know, Dwayne, it was we had mm-hmm. such a good time, and it was mm-hmm. such a good experience with uh the christian living Mm -hmm. uh show that we did on uh last week and so you know over the week i mean god has really been uh touching my heart with this topic and um and i and i believe that he it it just it's so so much that has to be said that that and it it takes it, it takes more than just one episode to to put it in about okay. Christian living, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's a lot, yeah. you know, and we, we yeah. it, I mean, we haven't even scraped the surface. So right. as God leads, we're going to take our time. I don't know if it'll be a, a three or a four, but for right now, we are, we're on a two, part right. two. Right. Yeah. Amen. Part two Amen. Of, of, yeah. of Christian living. But okay. today's subtitle is, mm-hmm. is, is one, it's, it's just one, 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 one little word, and it's and it's the church. Okay. The church is that two words or one okay. word? But <laughs> the church. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if that was a trick question. Or not. <laughs> you you decide. <laughs> right, 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 right. But that's oh, the subtitle. Man. The subtitle is the church. Okay. okay. And so yeah. we're gonna break it down a little bit more about uh, um, about Christian living and what it what it means uh, mm-hmm. uh, about being the church because and, and I say it the word being on purpose because I think a lot of people uh, Dwayne look at mm-hmm. church as the as the steeple in the buildings that True. are up there uh, uh, and they give more credit to that than they do uh, uh, themselves because. In all actuality, I mean, in reality, <laughs> we mm-hmm, are mm-hmm. the church individually. Right. Absolutely. We are the church. And yeah. we are the ones who Christ is, is coming back for. True. And so he's not coming back for that building. That's <laughs> right. That beautiful That's right. uh, million dollar building that so many mm-hmm. uh, uh, churches have put together uh, mm-hmm. uh, um, and, 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 and put all the beautiful lights and the stage and, the, and all mm-hmm. of that. He's not coming for that building at all. 
That's True. just a place for Christians to get together and unite and, and, and fellowship with one another and to give God praise on one right. uniform platform. That's right. all that is. Right. That's it. True. Unified True. platform. That's right. all that is. So, 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 but everything else is, 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 um, is, 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 is we are the church. We are the mm -hmm. church. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, 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 um, voice of reasoning? <laughs> No, I believe that. I mean, and it says that, right? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, wherever wherever the body of believers is, is where the church is, right? Basically. So, um, I mean, they, you congregate in an area so that you can all have a solitary place to come to. Um, but uh, ultimately, if those same people went someplace else, the church would be there. So that's true. I and then that. where you go. You, right. you, you know, Dwayne, I tell people, uh, when people ask me, uh, you know, because, you know, by me, uh, uh, my title being Pastor Fisher, mm -hmm. Pastor Fisher. <laughs> mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of people who don't know me will say, will ask me, where is your church? And I mm. tell them, seriously, I tell them right here, <laughs> right here, right, right here where we standing, right here where we at. I'm here and you're right. here, you know, right. and the word says right. there are two or more gathered <laughs> in my right. name. Right. So therefore, yep. I, I, I tell people right here. And Absolutely. then, you know, you know, and, and I and, and I could because, you know, as you know, and the people who don't know who should know by now that mm -hmm. I am definitely uh, uh, I, I'm an outreach minister. I, I, right. I, I do outreach. I evangelize and, mm -hmm. I, and I go out to the highways and the byways <laughs> <Right>. and, <laughs> and I, and I right. minister to people. So wherever I'm at is where mm -hmm. the church is at. It's wherever True. I'm at. I'm the church. And that's where the church is at. Amen. Yeah. True. Yeah, I get, you. I get you. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, the scripture for today uh, is a, a, a simple scripture. It comes from uh, John three sixteen. So, for, it's, oh, okay. I so love the world that He gave His only mm -hmm. begotten Son, that whosoever mm -hmm. believeth in Him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. And um, mm -hmm. and that scripture right there, the key word in that scripture is believe. Mm -hmm. Believe whosoever believeth be, or believe in Christ, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so therefore, right. it, it all starts with the belief. Life and see, I want I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time with this, and okay. like I said, even if we have to make a part three to this, it's all good because yeah. we are here to help people. We are here to help right. somebody who is looking, who who, who is looking for a, a peace in their life who's looking mm -hmm. for love in their life. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and we need to, we need to, I need you to understand that it is a total faith walk. Once yes. you become a child of God and, 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 and have accepted Christ as your personal savior, mm -hmm. because Absolutely. this is a personal venture lifestyle personally, mm -hmm. That you're going to be, uh, 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 that you're going to be living right. from this day forward. Absolutely. And so, therefore, our goal here is to help you to do it through right. explaining to you, thoroughly explaining to you how to how to how to how to do this and and and, and be a Christian, and let and let you also know what obstacles that you will incur. True. Um, that is the uh, scripture for today, John 3.16. I have some more scriptures for you that I'm going to give you in a minute. Um, okay. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pray. And we're going to get ready to get started um, okay. uh, uh, with our discussion. Perfect. Okay, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you as humble as we know how. Thank you once again for allowing us to come together in your name. And thank you for everybody under the sound of my voice who is listening and who is watching this this uh, uh, podcast this time today. All the newcomers and and, 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 and all the old heads that are, that, are, that are with us today. We pray for every single body right now and thank them right now for being here with us. We pray for their households. We pray for their children we pray for 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 their for the food on their table and clothes on their back i can't say it enough Amen. but That's we right. just love you lord and we need you and we realize that without you we can do nothing 
We give you all the praise and all the glory. These and many other blessings we ask in your son, Jesus Christ. Let everybody under the sound of my voice say what? Amen. 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 Thank you for that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. And so while I'm with that, I'm going to say that if you like what we're doing, Mm -hmm. then please go ahead and like subscribe because the reason i say please is because uh, um when you subscribe to our to, to our channel and to and to this podcast you are you are extending you are uh, the next person that is extending how far this message goes out to help other people sure. And that's sure. what we're here to do is to help other people, uh, as right. many people that will hear us, you know, to help right. them and to help them to understand uh, um, uh, what we're doing on on, on, on living a, a Christian life. And right. so and that's what whatever topic that we may be discussing is all about uh, living a Christian life. When you say when Amen. you say so, uh, 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 Dwayne T. Absolutely. One hundred percent. That's why we're here. So like, subscribe, and do what? I'm going to see if y'all can hear it this time. Oh, Hit no. that, uh. that bell. <laughs> <laughs> when you hit that bell, that, makes, that lets you know that Pastor Fisher has just dropped <laughs> another podcast or video because mm-hmm. I do music videos. I got, I got some stuff coming out right now, and you will only see it on this channel. <laughs> Right, right, right. So, so, so you can check out my music video because I love doing my music, y'all. You know, uh, uh, Dwayne T won't let me sing on here like I want to, but anyway, you can sing. I didn't stop you. <laughs> don't say that. Just don't sing, <laughs> sing my song, but don't sing sing nobody right. else's, right? <laughs> right, right. That's all. You can sing your stuff all day. You know what I mean? But some other people, no, no, you can't I, do that. I see you know that. I mean? <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. See, that's why I mean, he keeps me in check. And I thank God for it. I thank God for you, man. But anyway, um, so yeah, go ahead and hit that bell and uh and, and check out the stuff that we got. Now, to get yeah. with the discussion, okay? And so um again, Christian living, we're talking about the church. And um I'm I'm gonna get a couple of these scriptures out of the way. Um and that is Matthew 16 and 18, uh, where Jesus is talking uh, 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 on the second half of the scripture. Jesus mm-hmm. is saying, upon this rock, I build my church mm-hmm. and, and, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, I had mm-hmm. it in here. Now, I know I, done, I know I done moved it, but I had, <laughs> see that, see what I see there? I, I caught myself being prepared, but I mean, I, I'm getting better with it. I'm getting better. You this are, is our ninth. Are. This is our ninth episode, y'all. So we mm-hmm. are getting better at um, right. at being more organized. I'm getting mm-hmm. better. I'm working on 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 my organizational skills. You hear, you, you hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Uh, uh, <laughs> I said organizational skills. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> did I say it right? Uh, uh, with some you country. Did. You did. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, you, did. Okay. you got it. I put, you I put a, a little country twist on it there. Well, that part is okay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if it, if it's okay. said it wrong, it's said it wrong, but you said it right. So you're That's good. okay. Okay. But it yeah. says the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, which means say, sin. Uh, as a Christian of, of God, you will go through trials and you will go through tribulation. That is all mm-hmm. a part of the growing process, right. you know, becoming a Christian. And then, you know what? And, and, and just plain old layman's term, that's just life. That's True. life for everybody. Because the Bible talks about it, it raining on the just and the unjust. Mm-hmm. So therefore, you know, you're going to have just because you become a, 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 a Christian, and you become saved and you and you accept Christ as your savior does not mm-hmm. mean that you're not going to have uh, 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 trials and tribulations, uh, uh, things that happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of it, your trials only come to make you stronger. That's mm-hmm. all. That's the only reason. And how mm-hmm. you react to them how your attitude is when your trials and tribulations come shows your growth. When you say, right. Dwayne T, that if you if you fail, life is full of tests. And True. if you fail a test, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you will continuously repeat it. <laughs> mm. Mm. What do you think about mm. that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I think that that can be true yeah it can be true like 
I think the the things that we have that we consider challenges or obstacles in our life uh, are usually there to sharpen us. So yes. uh, that may, usually means that we're probably not as sharp in that area as we sh- we can be potentially. Right. Right. And so I think that I think it's just there. Um, and it's frustrating because sometimes you do something and you you mess up and you mess up and you mess up. Um, but I, I heard somebody say one time that uh, a baby doesn't get frustrated when they can't walk. They just keep trying. They just right? keep trying. <laughs> so, that's right. So that's right. and eventually they get it. And eventually so, they get it. And, and I but, think that's part of what the sorry. But I was just saying that I think that's part of what Jesus is talking about when he says, you know, you want us to think like a child. Right. Because right. children are are sometimes more resilient than adults when it comes to life in yes. general. Oh, yes. But you were, but you were going to say something. No, 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 no. I was just going to say, when you know, because when when the, you said the child continuously keep uh, uh, doing it and doing it until he finally is able to stand right. up and walk. Right. right. And that's what right. I was saying about you will continue to take the test over and over again until yeah. you pass the walking the, yeah. the child achieving standing up and walking means mm-hmm. means that he passed the test. Right, right, right. He yeah. passed the test, mm-hmm. and so and so and even though there are some tests in life, we will pass just like that. Right. You know, and but they but there can be there can be that one test that we stay stuck on for years. Mm-hmm. True. Until we pass it, you know what True. I'm saying? And listen, True. and when I say pass it. I don't want people to get stuck Mm -hmm. on so much on because there are other tests, as I mentioned before, that will happen during your during your during during your during your uh, Christian walk that will Mm -hmm. happen um, that you will you will pass that you will struggle with or whatever. But you Mm -hmm. still don't stop trying. Right. You know? Now I do have a song right. called You've Gotta Try. <laughs> That's my own. <laughs> I do right. have a song, but I'm gonna let y'all stroll down after this show and, and look up You've Gotta Try and check it out. I'm not gonna sing it and I'm not gonna play it because that's not what this mm-hmm. format is really about right now. <laughs> right, 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 right. But 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 the reason that I wrote that song, You've Gotta Try. You know, it's based on what we're talking about right now is that you you got to keep trying whatever it is in this life to pass the test of life. Mm-hmm. And, the, and, and, and Dwayne, the best way that I found out how to pass the test is basically through a, being able to adjust my attitudes, my reaction. And see, mm. you are a perfect example, especially for me. Because mm-hmm. you are a even you 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 are a, you you are a even tempered type of a guy, so okay. so 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 and I know that that's basically just your nature and who you are, right? But because of that, you know, like you, I think you said in the in the last show, you said you was talking about your wife, and you said she, uh, she doesn't really know to look at you to tell whether or not you're upset about something or not. She just assumes. Yeah, that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, she just assumes that you're not upset because of your even, even temp, temperedness. You know what I'm saying? So right. Right. You're right. Okay. Until you literally tell her that right. that you that you got something that's that's going on with you like that. Right. Right. You know. True. You know. You know. So unlike myself, you know, I, I, I <laughs> if something wrong with me, you gonna know, and the whole house gonna know, and everybody <laughs> go no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Dwayne, there was something else as I was looking at the playbacks in the show okay. from last week. There was something mm-hmm. else that that you was talking about. And I definitely mm-hmm. wanted to um uh 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 expand on it a little bit more because okay. as I was giving my example of 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 a Christian and mm-hmm. and being excited and shouting and and all that stuff and i talked about i talked about me getting on the side of the road and shouting and, oh yes yes and, yes yep and you mentioned you mentioned in that you said you said that um you know well that may be uh uh, uh um that may be me on, on mm-hmm. one hand you know yeah. uh, but you said but then just as just as well i can't remember exactly all the words to have how you put it but you used the example mm-hmm. of uh i might like going out to do something like this but the other person may want may want to go to a museum 
and oh, and, yes, they, yep. and they're still getting yep. they're still getting the same out of what they do the museum the museum as what I'm getting mm -hmm. out of going somewhere else or, or you know a, right. a, a show or something yep. they're yes. still getting the same effect from that right. and I wanted to definitely commend you for pointing that out and and, and mm -hmm. expound on that a little bit more because I don't want I don't want people to understand I want I mean I want people to understand that the life that I present before you is who mm -hmm. I am and what came right. and, and, and it, it came through a, a, a whole lifetime. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, we are all a little bit products, maybe a lot. Now that I think mm -hmm. about it, a products of how we were raised, how yes, we were brought up, you know what absolutely. I'm saying? And yep. some people came up Methodist, Catholics, and, you know, mm -hmm. and they are, I've been to Methodist churches and Catholic churches and, 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 and I love the fact that, you know, if they started at 12 o'clock, they was out at 12, <laughs> they was out at one o'clock, right? Yeah. <laughs> like clockwork, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got all the Absolutely. singing in, all the praying in and everything, yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I, that part yeah. I liked, you know, so I yeah. did not have... <laughs> <laughs> this is just me talking, y'all. Now, come on, now. come on. Now. I, 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 I must admit, I, I, but I, it wasn't long enough for me to fall asleep, so I couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> but, but the people who were there, I mean, mm -hmm. I cannot knock them because, and listen, I'm not talking about Catholics or nothing like that. I'm just saying the, ser yeah. the services. I'm just talking about the yeah, services yeah, now. Yeah. So let's of keep course, that clear. Course. You know, yeah. you know, that's not my preference of service that I would, I personally prefer. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I yeah. like, I like a, a hollering and a running around the church and a, and a jumping and a shouting and ah, I did right, right, type right. of a thing. But that's my life at church and out of church. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Exactly. And the same way with those people. That's their life at church and out of church for the most part. You right, know what true. I'm saying? I believe that. True. So true. I want to I wanted to go back to that because mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that people understood that I didn't want people to misunderstand that mm -hmm. what I said about because I mentioned I said all I said oh stone faced and everything. Well, <laughs> I can remember the time before I was wearing glasses. I remember mm -hmm. the time where I used people used to ask me all the time, "How come you don't smile?" Because oh, you, okay. you know nobody says that to me now at all. Yeah, but yeah. I remember before I started really wearing glasses on a regular basis, people would ask me, "How come I don't smile?" And yeah. they, they, they always thought I had a frown on my face. I didn't, oh, okay. like, I, I didn't like that. I didn't like mm -hmm. people saying I had a frown on my face because I'm I'm a mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a good go lucky type of a guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, right, I'm a right, shit, right. You know. So how could you think I'm frowning? But mm -hmm. what I found out was I was just trying to focus and see, so I was squinting. Oh. <laughs> and while I was yeah, was funny. I was squinting, and so because I was squinting, it made a frown. You know, I'm trying mm, to see. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so yeah, people yeah. look at me and they're like, he just, I look at stone faced. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? So it sent yeah. out, uh, um, uh, it wasn't sitting out the kind of message I wanted people to have. So okay. I had to learn, I had to get my glasses and quit trying to, uh, 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 you know, look all cool and everything without them. Mm -hmm. So I, right. had to, I had to get my glasses so I could see, which allowed me to smile more. You right, know, right, and right, to right. And, and to be what I the the one word that I learned at our church is intentional. I've heard mm. the word all my life, but I never yeah. heard it. I never heard it. Heard he who has a voice, let him hear. I never heard mm. it until I got to our church and and start to hear the word intentional, and mm -hmm. that word means so much to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, being intentional. What you have to say, right. uh, 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 Dwayne? Um, in regards to which part, though, uh, any part that you want to pick that, that I still <laughs> talked about, I'm just, I'm trying to. Well, no, I was thinking because you were saying that you wanted to go back, so I wanted to know: Are you? Am I addressing what you wanted to go back to? Uh, you are um, addressing what I said about um, the uh, 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 the difference in service oh, okay. and how we serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How people are okay. different in the in in the in their in their in yeah. their personal relationship and their salvation, how they serve and interact and pray, give God, pray, how they worship, how they worship Absolutely. God. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, like in my younger days, um, and that sounds old, but in my days when I was young, 
uh, my, you know, like eight to 10 or six to 10, that kind of time frame. Uh, I, I attended a Methodist church. So okay. um, I'm very, very well aware with, with how um, the, the sermon is and, and the expectation of praise and everything else from that standpoint. From that standpoint. Um, and that probably, and that probably shaped some of my, my, the way that I would praise in general. Uh, which is very different now uh, because the environment's different, right? right? Right. So that doesn't mean that I personally am different, but the environment's different. And since I'm um, okay with the environment, um, I praise in a different way, mm-hmm. right? Now, that doesn't necessarily change my temperament of who I am. Mm-hmm. Um, there are still things that even, it, probably I could go to any church that that is, uh, like super enthusiastic and feel a little bit uncomfortable, probably just because mm-hmm. that's not completely my my uh, the way I am. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't look at it and say, "Hey, you know what?" Because they're running around the room, or well, I don't backflips would be a little bit extreme, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, what I mean? but, but but you know, what that I mean. would be extreme but, to me too. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, that would be sure that would be one of the I'm, moments. Right. That would be one of the moments that I would say, "Now look at them, they're all fake right. as hell." <laughs> I like but, that. But you know, but yes. but again, you know, some people do that, right? And I can't say, "Oh, you know what? You're not uh, praising correctly." That's just the environment that you feel comfortable doing that, right? Like in general. But for honest, honestly, running around the church, like oh, doing a lap around the church, is like completely yes. odd to some people. It to is be fair, you know what I'm saying? It is. It's completely odd. And yeah. then other times, people who might be in that environment will look at, uh, you know, uh, Catholic or a uh, Methodist or something along that time, that term, that kind of church, and be like, "Man, this is super boring." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so it just so, but it's again, it's the environment that you're comfortable in, and right. even even though there are so many denominations, right? Yes. There's, a, there's a lot of denominations out there. Yes. And yes. everybody thinks they're right, right? Yes, yes. Um, but the, the main thing is this. If they're following the Bible and they are solemn in the way they're praising, let them do it. Let them do it. And yep. if they're following the Bible and they're running around the church, you know, and they, but they're still following the Bible, right? let them do it. Because they're get they're getting some communication and praise time with God um, mm-hmm. that they might not get if they weren't there. Right. So, right. so I, I you know it's I I try my best not to judge environments that I'm not in, right? Even okay. though I might not agree with everything that they do. Right. Right. But again, God is the judge of it. Really. I mean, yes. even if I don't agree, I it's not like I can come in there and be like, guess what? Now because you ran around. One time, you know, now you're not going to be Christian anymore. Like, it doesn't right. make sense. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, yeah, just expanding on what we were talking about last week, I was just saying that the way that you praised when you got on the side of the road and you did your thing and got out, I, I, I think you said you got out the car and everything. I did, um, yeah. You know, and you get out the car and you do whatever. Right. I mean, it's cool. I mean, people right. might look at it and say, wow, that's a little weird. Um, right. But it doesn't matter. Right. It don't matter. Right. It doesn't matter if they think it's weird or not. I mean, right. this is right. your relationship and you feel comfortable. And you, you feel like God is 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 seeing your your real self in that moment, um, then then do it. The same way if somebody's in a Methodist church or something else, and I'm just using Methodist because I've been there, right, right, right. right, um, right. But but if a Methodist church and you might be in the pews and they got they have the organized hymns and you know you re, you, you you sing these these hymns and got the numbers and you know you follow the numbers in the hymn and all that kind of stuff and right. sing that way, right. Um, and they and the, the the pipe organs and all this stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, the um, pipe organs. Yeah, <laughs> huge pipe organs, <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing. Um, yeah. and and that might and and but you know if they're think about the fact that they are still in an environment of being uh, submitted submitted to God in that moment. Right. 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 So does it really matter that they don't run around? Like, does that really matter ultimately? No. no you know, like that's and I think that's what we really have to look at. Now, right. if somebody's doing something that's against God, I can't roll with you on that. Right. Like, right. I mean, I mean, if you go in here and, you know, I'm not even going to say, but if you're doing some things that are just more um, idolize, idolistic yes. than actually really praising and, and worshiping God, right. that part I can't roll with. And right. I don't care whether you're sitting still doing it or you hanging off right. the monkey bars doing it. Like, right. it doesn't matter. You, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not cool with that either way. 
Yeah. But I'm not judging you. I'm just saying you're not doing the right thing yeah. based off the Bible. Yeah. So that, that's my side of it, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, what I heard in everything that you said, I heard um, about the freedom. Mm -hmm. I heard about the freedom. My mm -hmm. mic is not muted, is it? I see mute up there. Okay. No, <laughs> okay. no it's not. <laughs> Devil is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not lying. But, so <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Um, but yeah, it, when as you were talking, I thought about the freedoms, and I wanted to let everybody yeah. know. See, that's the that's another thing: freedom to to express, right? Truly express yourself uh, to God in your relationship with Him. Yeah. You know, you. I mean, whether it's whether mm -hmm. it's sitting down. Or whether it's running around the church, that's a freedom. Right. That's a preference. Sure. That's a choice that you can have. Absolutely. And and God, God, God is is is, is totally. I, I think I can speak for God in saying that. As long as you are true to heart <laughs> in what you're doing, yes. I, yeah. I think that I can say that God is in agreement with that. You know, just don't be yeah. fake. But I do say also because God is a spirit. His 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 spirit. I I, I got something else I want to say behind this. Because mm -hmm. God is a is a is a spirit of order, and mm -hmm. a, a, and a spirit of, of, of being organized as well. When mm -hmm. in Rome, do as the Romans do. So mm -hmm. now, if you go to a Methodist church and them mm -hmm. people are not running around the church, then mm -hmm. I wouldn't advise <laughs> you to go there <laughs> and start running around the church. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because not. that's just not what they do. So you, you respect, yeah. and yeah, see, yeah. and see, God is a God of order. You know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and he, and He wants us to be. You know, you got some people who are who, who and I can speak for this, or uh, that because mm -hmm. I, because I am an ex, a, a shouter and and, mm -hmm. and, and and people like that. But you got a lot of people that that and like I said, you know, uh, 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 I don't think I've ever done this. I don't think I have, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I do know of people who who have the mindset. It's like I was saying to you last in in the last. Uh, um, episode uh, um mm -hmm. in episode one it's like mm -hmm. i said to you that you got people who you say hi to and they say i'm highly favored you know what i'm saying oh yeah well yes, you yes, know yes. i think i yep. believe that it's a time and a place for everything okay. that's what i mean by god being a god of order you know okay it's a time and a place you know mm -hmm. and i and, and like and, and i reiterate that that you know the best sermon is uh, that's ever preached is the one that's lived and mm -hmm. so that's and we're talking about christian living right now today mm -hmm. so right. live your christianity you know right. through the way you interact with people rather than don't be so fast to be boisterous and verbal with it mm -hmm. just to just mm -hmm. to let people know i'm a christian because i mean especially young people young people because they have a zeal i remember being, mm -hmm. being I mean, and you don't have to be, I, I don't mean young in age i'm talking about mm -hmm. young in the christian life and you can be 50 right. years old and just became a christian and have a and True. have and have a and get a zeal because when you, right. you first get it you're excited and you want everybody to know and then right. the longer that you deal with it the more that you get kind of uh, uh um disappointed and, and frustrated by it because people ain't feeling it and these are other christians too that have been around mm -hmm, a long time mm -hmm. they're not mm -hmm. feeling it the way you're feeling it mm -hmm. they appreciate mm -hmm. where you at and what you're doing because they remember the time when they was there but once right, you, right. When you once you get more you know been around here for a while then you mm -hmm. you, you learn how to uh uh control it a little bit better. I guess that's the right word because mm. you've mm. grown. You've grown up some. Hopefully, you've right, grown right. up, and you're not you're not putting on a, a, a act. Let me touch on some of these scriptures for a minute. Um, okay. I said Matthew sixteen and 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 uh, eighteen. Upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And John fourteen mm -hmm. and six. Uh, um, and we're talking about becoming a Christian. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. There are there are I, I, I wrote down four ways of we, what, what, what you what you will experience and how to become a Christian. And the first mm -hmm. thing to do is accept Christ as your personal savior. 
Mm. Very number one thing, accept Christ mm-hmm. as a, your personal savior. Like that's why we did mm-hmm. uh, 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 John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that who so who all shall believe this, mm-hmm. you will not perish. But this is the door to eternal life. Mm. This is the door to eternal life through believing that this mm-hmm. is true. Amen. Right. Standing right. on that truth. And so John 14 and 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No right. man cometh unto the Father, which is God, but by way of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. So you have to accept that, that that's right. what it is. You know, uh, uh, the next thing I, I wrote down was prayer. Mm-hmm. Prayer. Prayer is talking to God. That's at any level you at, wherever you at, I advise you. Let people think that you're talking to yourself, if you, whatever, or talking on the phone, <laughs> whichever way that it just, just so that will keep you from being embarrassed. Because mm-hmm. trust me, trust me, you know, uh, uh, I talk to myself on a rig, <laughs> on a regular basis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right, you know, right. I have to hear... Yeah. What my I have to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> my ears have to go in and make sure I processes it. You know, yes, so I yes, so you yes. can start that right now. You know, start mm-hmm, that today. Mm-hmm. And I I mean yeah. this this is just I'm just sharing with you. If this is not your way of doing, then if your your way is to get down on your knees, get down on your knees. I get down on my knees and I and I and I just 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 talk to God like I'm talking to y'all right now. Yeah. You know, you know. Mm-hmm, uh mm-hmm. But, but but build a prayer life with God. Talk mm-hmm. to God. Mm-hmm. But listen, don't just talk to God without listening, waiting to listen to God. Let God talk to you, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. How does God talk to you? Through mm-hmm. studying his word. Number three, studying mm-hmm. the word. You have to read the Bible in order to learn the word of God, to learn what his mind is like. uh, um, The Bible says, let this mind that is in Christ Jesus also be in you. Mm -hmm. So we have to adapt the mindset of God, you know. Mm -hmm. And so and how we what other way can we do it than through studying his word? True. You know, uh, uh, they they say that they say that it's better for for new Christians and newcomers to um, to read the Gospels first. You know, and mm. I agree with that. You know, Matthew, mm-hmm. Mark, Luke, and John to start out with those first, so mm-hmm. that you can you can you can learn about Jesus and His walk, knowing that Jesus, as we talked about last week, was the ultimate example on how we should live our life with each other, because Jesus cared about people. All mm-hmm. people. True. Jesus was a soul winner. And once we become saved, we instantly become soul winners through telling everybody and sharing with everybody and not being ashamed mm-hmm. uh, of, uh, of that to let people know that we are a child of God now. You know, uh, mm-hmm. you got anything to say on that, uh, uh, Dwayne? Did you, um, you? You had four, right? Did you say the four? I, had, I didn't. I hadn't said. I didn't say the four. I just said the first one. Accept, oh. pray, and study. You want me to go ahead and do the fourth one? Oh, I was just saying. I didn't want you to stop in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Okay. But okay. I can't. I mean, I can say something if you want. But go I, ahead. I was just waiting to finish. Go ahead. Uh, but I don't know. Well, say the last one because then I don't know if that's going to incorporate. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. And the last yeah, one yeah, is yeah. the last one is after you study. Uh, uh, the the last one is is is, is application. Apply, mm. Mm. apply, mm. apply what you have studied, what you have learned. Mm. Start mm-hmm. daily. Start mm-hmm. situationally. Am mm-hmm. I saying that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Start situationally. <laughs> I got to get him to make sure my my, my, my vocabulary <laughs> is getting better. You know what I'm saying? You know, I want to be guilty by association. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. Because right, right. I don't I don't mind being country. You know, country's just who I right. am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, country right. ghetto. Put them together, okay? <laughs> 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 but anyway, <laughs> but anyway, um, apply it in your life. You know, apply mm-hmm. what you have, what you, what you have, what you are learning through reading the Word of God, through your personal relationship with God. Uh, uh, learn mm-hmm. to apply it every single day in your life. And the best way to apply it is when you, when you're in, interacting with other people. 
That's when that's when True. that's when you're on the stage. That's when you can show people, mm-hmm. you know, the Bible talks about uh, let your light so shine before men so that others will see it and glorify God who's in heaven. Mm-hmm. So, right. so, and I, I like to say, it said, let your light, your light is your life. Let mm-hmm. your life, uh, 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 like you're on stage, you know, let your light, let people see your, your, your light and uh, by, by looking at your everyday walk. Let me tell you mm-hmm. something, you know, there is no, there is no reason. It, it, once you get this thing right here, you're going to have such a good time. I'm, I mean, I guarantee it. You're going to have a good mm-hmm. time. You're going to love that you are a child of God. And once you understand people, we're going to talk about that a little bit on the second half of this, on the second half of this show, after Dwayne uh, 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 makes his comment on, from what I just said. But mm-hmm. you're going to you're going to love living this Christian life because now you understand that you I'll make sure I point to you. You <laughs> are the church that God mm. is coming back for. Mm-hmm. And once you understand that you are the church, I think that that should help. It helped me. It helped me mm-hmm. to understand that now I have a responsibility. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a responsibility mm-hmm. now to uh, uh, live and to uphold uh, uh, what I believe in. And that's accepting Christ mm-hmm. as my personal savior. Okay. Doing mm-hmm. Uh, so just, um, in there, I would also add that, uh, the same way that, uh, Jesus, uh, was baptized, you should get baptized as well. Yes. Um, I, I, I would say that's an important aspect because to me, first off that he's, he's, if he's leading by example, that's part of the example. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. So, um, but, but even with all of, all the things that, um, the pastor Fisher was saying, I agree with that because, the the challenge usually comes right after you make the declaration and go through the process. You're excited, um, but you have to know that life is still life, right? And so you are still going to run into obstacles and and um, some challenge, some other challenges and everything else. But now you actually have somebody that you can talk to about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whereas, right. and that person is not going to judge you because you because of your vulnerability, right? Like that's right. the thing. And and I think a lot of times as humans, we sometimes judge people because of we judge people because they want to express their vulnerability, right? And that makes people not want to be vulnerable. Yes, right? Because yes. they feel like it's being weaponized against them. So now you have somebody, uh, you have the Holy Spirit, you have Jesus and God that are right alongside you through the process and that doesn't mean it, that process gets easier right it just means that you're more supported in the process right and you have areas in the bible excuse me that you can go to and start to understand a little bit more about maybe some of the things you're going through and how you can best present yourself in the face of those experiences Right. So, so I think where you see people seeing, where you see people that are very happy as Christians, it's because they've been through the challenge sometimes and understood that there was a challenge and they put their faith in God as opposed to themselves and they got over the challenge. Mm-hmm. And they know that they're going to go into another challenge. But now that they've seen that they were supported in the first challenge, they, there's more excitement there, right? Because yes. you know yes. that, okay, well, I know this is temporary. Yes. Right? More than anything else. Yes. Um, when you're going through hard times and you don't feel like there is any ceasing to it, um, you tend to feel um, depressed and feel like it's never going to end. Mm-hmm. And this is part of the reason why people get fed up and, you know, possibly want to take their life or do something weird, yes. I, I, something else that are weird. And I'm not saying that's weird. I'm just saying that we would rather go, we, we would rather get an, get something to get away from the pain than to understand maybe that there's a way that we can get through the pain. Because mm-hmm. pain is always going to be there. If you work out, you get pain, Right. Right. That doesn't mean you stop working out. 
Right. It just means that you work out in a more effective way so that you are less pained than you were in the past. Right. Right. It doesn't stop you from the workout though, because the workout is what's building you up. Right. No pain, no gain. With, right. It's the same <laughs> thing with Christianity. It's it's yeah. listen, and and um I think what Pastor said is really important about prayer life because you know, I, I'm one of those people that I, I think I I pray and don't really realize it. Mm. Right? Because I might be in the shower and just thinking and talking to God, saying, God, man, I don't understand. You know, and I never realize I'm actually doing it. Mm. I'm just kind of talking and just saying, Hey, you know. Man, I wish I could figure out a way to do this better. Or you could, you know, can you help me do this or do whatever? And I and I don't want it to be like I keep asking, asking, asking. Um, but there's nobody else I know that can answer it. <laughs> so, <you know? laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know what I mean. So, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I I could call somebody and they'd be like, well, I don't know, you know. So you know, so I, I feel like don't put the pressure on yourself and say this has to be this orchestrated prayer. Right. Now, if you do not right. know at all how to do it to pray. I mean, I guess you could really go through Psalms, really. Right. And and just see a lot of prayer in general and maybe get an idea mm-hmm. of maybe the way to, to but but again, that's with you understanding what what Pastor was saying before, the 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 mind of God, right? Yes. So yes. a lot of that a lot of those prayers are with knowing the scriptures already. Mm-hmm. So you might feel odd even saying some of those because you just don't know the scriptures yet. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I think it's more along the lines of really just a, a daily, a daily conversation. And, and mine is not at all organized. Right. So, you know, it could be where I'm just like, OK, well, and, and I just said shower because I just thought about it. Like a lot of times in the shower, I'm thinking. Right. And so yeah. when I'm thinking, that's when I'm like man, you know, I wish I could work through this problem, right? And so sometimes God will give me solutions there. And I'll go through and sometimes, you know, I, maybe I don't execute them right so they don't work. But I at least tried it. Right. You know, and I, and I think the trying and the the learning from the trying is what makes us better. Yes. When, yes. We, when we're going through the process, because to give up is to give up on the fact that God has something better for us. Mm-hmm. I think that's what the giving up is actually. You actually, it's, yeah. it's, it sounds harsh to say that, but you're actually giving up on God, right? Yeah. Because yeah, because He is there. He's the one supporting you. Because He's not a human, doesn't mean He's not there, right? So I think we got to We have to the 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 things that you mentioned, which should definitely be in in the description for the people, you know, of, of mm-hmm. this video, mm-hmm. um, should just be a guideline that that we look at and then from that point on become a Christian and then start the, ju- the journey and don't be discouraged when people aren't possibly quote unquote as happy as you are. Right. Cause they're happy. You, you, your walk doesn't depend on their happiness. Right. 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 Like it doesn't, right. I mean, they don't have to be happy for you. It doesn't really matter. Right. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Right. To, to be honest. Right. You know, it's all about whether or not God is happy with you, not them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you can you're you're gonna do some things that people are not gonna be happy with, but if God, in your true form, told you to do that, you know it could be anything. <clears throat> it could be, oh, you know what, you love all the people at your job, but He told you, hey, I need you to quit and go to a different state. It could be something like that, which is yeah. expensive. Yeah. Right. And people yeah. do it all the time. Yeah. Sometimes they're doing it because they want to do it, and it ends up not being what <laughs> so they're supposed to do. Yeah. But sometimes, it's. You know, you have to go to a different place because that's where the provision is. Mm-hmm. Where you're at is where you chose to be. Where he mm-hmm. tells you is where he's choosing for you to be. Right. You, you get what I'm saying? Right. And that's not always in the same place. He can give you something anywhere. Yeah. But sometimes what you need is not where you are. So you Absolutely. have to be open. That's and, that's, and that's what that's you, good. And that's yeah. what you were saying. What you yeah. And that goes back to what you were saying, which is you have to be open to listening as well as just talking to him. You right. have to listen. And I and my mind is always like moving. Right. <laughs> so so right. I, I don't ever I don't never sit. I don't say I don't want ever, but I, a lot of times I don't sit still and just be still. Right. And that's in there. That's in the Bible to just be still. Yeah. Because if you're still after a while, things start to move away. 
like your mm-hmm. thoughts start to kind of calm down a little bit right and you start to just really um take a uh, take a, an assessment of where you are and that's when he can really start talking to you right so that's my my take well thank you but a couple of things you said yeah that i that i was uh, uh and I wanted to talk. The first thing you, you you talked about uh, being baptized, and mm-hmm. um, that was uh, a part that um, that we definitely need to understand. And and in in your studies, in studying mm-hmm. building your relationship with God, you will come to understand that you do need to be baptized. You know, because mm-hmm. that that that's that that's baptizing means that you have you have you have died to self and risen mm-hmm. in Christ. And right. so that's why you have to be submerged underwater. You right. know, that is the public display. I like the way you said that. Yeah, yeah. Underwater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got, you got, you got yeah. Jamaican for a second. Yeah. <laughs> underwater. <laughs> oh, I, okay, I hear that. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, you never know what's what. What kind of blood I got inside of hey, me? You know? <laughs> hey. You can relate to that one, could you? Hey, hey. You never know. In, a, in another another land, you never know. <laughs> exactly. 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 Oh, that's funny. But yes, yes. You know that that's what you have to do that's the putting on that's the that's the taking off and putting on the new you and that is yeah. the the public display to everybody that i have i'm a christian i have accepted christ as my personal savior i'm right. accepting i'm accepting everything there is to believe about jesus coming jesus walking on the earth that god sent him you know right. to, 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 to 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 die on the cross and to rise again and i believe that he's coming back again for me right. the church mm-hmm. <laughs> right right i am the church you are the church we are the church right. amen right. amen um and uh uh acts 2 and 38 uh then peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the mm. remission of your sins. Mm. And it says, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You know, mm. I like the word Holy Ghost. I'm gonna tell you, I'm I'm old school. <laughs> I don't, you know, when people say Holy Spirit, I, I, it, it's kind of, <laughs> uh, you know, you're trying to be all proper and everything. I, I like Holy <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the Holy yeah. Ghost, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the old yeah, King yeah. James Version Bible, you know, Holy yeah, Ghost, yeah. you know. You shall receive the gift because mm-hmm. the gift, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth, which means the spirit of mm-hmm. God will come and live inside of you. Okay, let's call mm-hmm. it your conscience, mm-hmm. your conscience, because we all have a conscience now. Right, we all right. have a conscience. And I believe that that is the beginning point of where mm-hmm. it starts to starts to live in your Christian life, even if you don't know the word of God. Right. True. Even if you don't know the word of God, we know basics, right and wrong. True. We know True. walking into the store, grabbing something and walking out without paying for it is wrong. Right. Right. 100%. We yep. know that already. Absolutely. You know, uh, uh, let me let me get some hard hitters. We know we're sleeping around, which is fornication is wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? We know Absolutely. that cheating on our wife when we're married is wrong, mm-hmm. huh? Right, right. So get some yep. hard hitters. Ouch, ouch, <laughs> ouch, 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 huh? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell, hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> but, let, you know, I mean, see, and we, we, we know we don't do, we know doing drugs is wrong. And why is it wrong? Yeah. Don't, don't come telling me now, oh, it's a plant and it was made, God made it and all that little kind of stuff. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, you, yeah. uh, you just want to get high. That's right. all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can't nobody. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dwayne T. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're you're about to say it. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, saying, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, grab me home now. Because I'm right, getting ready right, to right. say it. I'm getting ready to say it. Because <laughs> I'm telling you now, I didn't I didn't got as high as you can get on this earth with right. my drug use. You know, mm-hmm. of drugs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And alcohol. Yeah. 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 Been there, done that. Now I'm telling the story to y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, yeah. and, but see, it, it wasn't so much as the high. It was the things that the high made me do mm. under the influence. Yeah, because it 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 it, it lowered my my ability to mm-hmm. say no to things that I knew right. I wasn't supposed right. to do, or I know God right. didn't create me to do, and I knew right. it was wrong. 
Right. Yep. My decision making. Mm-hmm. And that was my excuse to do it. <laughs> that was my yeah. excuse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was high. Absolutely. Oh, I was drunk. You know. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, yep. uh, uh, oh, what's another? What's another song? Uh, uh, the alcohol. What is that? What's that song? The alcohol. Oh, blame bl- it on yeah, the alcohol. The- <laughs> 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 uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. No. 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 You just use alcohol as a reason <laughs> right. to right. do what it's you true. wanted to do anyway. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, but um, yeah. but yeah, but bap- being baptized is the, the, mm-hmm. is the taking is the putting off of the old you and putting on the new you. Mm-hmm. Which is which is mm-hmm. which is which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, yeah, the next part of this uh, I want to talk about is after now. Now that you're saved, okay, you saved, mm-hmm. you've accepted Christ, you've been baptized, you got you you're doing your prayer life, you're studying the Word of God, you so you're learning, you're learning the mind of God, you're learning how to do. Mm-hmm. You know, you're already starting with your do's and your don'ts. Okay, mm-hmm. now understand this because as as as, as um. As uh, Dwayne T just just spoke on, and, and we spoke on it, everybody ain't gonna be happy. So mm-hmm. now let me extend that a little bit further because let me tell okay. you something: hurt people, hurting people hurt people. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. Everybody, I need for you to understand these buildings that we go to, these steeples, these churches that we go to. I need for you to look at it in another way. Mm-hmm. Don't look at it as, as don't look at it as a building, a church, and a perfect place to go to mm-hmm. because it's not there in the church because you're the church. The church is made right. up of people, mm-hmm. and everybody. I don't care if you've been here seventy five years. Mm-hmm. Nobody is perfect, right? And for the rest of your life, you will be you and the Lord will be working on you. True. Because there is no such animal as as uh, as as uh, when I get myself together, because you cannot get mm. yourself together without mm. God's help. We don't have the power true. to get ourselves together. That's true. So stop saying it. When mm. I get myself together, I'm going. You know how you know how many years I stayed out of church trying to get myself together. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I stayed out of church years on top of years. Yep. But I'm going. I'm going as right. soon as I get myself together. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. People say it all the time. How you get yourself together? You sit down and you yield yourself un- unto the leadership of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and you listen to Him. How you mm-hmm. listen to him is by studying his word to learn his mind, to learn what to do. You know, mm-hmm. yes, God can tell you to, as 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 Dwayne uh, uh, T said, God can tell you to to to, to pick up and go to another uh, city or state. Trust me, I went from I went to four. I'm not gonna name them all, but I went to four different states. Mm-hmm. Thought I was gonna be brand new each time I got there, but I found mm-hmm. myself already there when I got there. Because mm. whenever wherever you go, who do you take with you? Yourself. <laughs> mm-hmm. So just because you change your environment does not mean necessarily that your that, that your situation is going to change. Because if you don't change, right. your environment don't change. You can stay right where you at and right. change, and then your environment will change. But you got to be intentional and insistent mm-hmm. on changing and, and and learning how to be more in control of your situations which controls are 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 are, are, are good are, are, are controls that are good mm-hmm. uh, uh, or that um uh, that need immediate attention which takes time mm-hmm. and ones mm-hmm. that don't <laughs> right. right you yeah. know being focused on the needs rather than the wants right so my goal, that's that's what my goal with, with this episode was trying to do, was trying to break it down a little bit more with the walk of Christianity mm-hmm. and living a Christian life. And, and, and mm-hmm. lastly, what I wanted to say was, I wanted to say that people, the church is a hospital. True. Look at it as a hospital for sick people mm-hmm. from, the, from the pulpit to the pews. Because as a newborn Christian and as a child of God, and even if you've been around here uh, a long time, I'm going to tell you something. Dwayne T., I'm going to tell you right now, 
after mm -hmm. I got saved and put the drugs and the alcohol down, let me tell you something. Them people in church, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Some of my biggest hurts mm -hmm. in my life mm -hmm. came from church people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because as I said earlier, hurt people hurt people. Hurting mm -hmm. people hurt people. Mm -hmm. And so people in the church, I went to the church looking at them as being perfect, already had it together. They had on their nice right. suits and their nice clothes. And uh, they was president of the usher board and, and singing in the <laughs> choir. And I mean, they was just, mm -hmm. <laughs> they was just doing right. it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm like, oh right. yeah. Yeah, because we are, we're, we're in we're in we're in a position of united praise and worship right now. Right. So oh yeah, right. so yeah, you don't see all of the other stuff and and, and and what's going on in other people's lives and their situations and what they're dealing with and the places that they haven't grown up yet in. Right, right, true. Because just like you're trying to grow up, they're trying to grow up too. I don't care how long they've been around. Right, and they're not perfect. Nope. So you can't look at no man just because he's a deacon, just because he's a pastor, just because he's a, 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 a on a, on the on the motherboard or the usher board, or, or you can't look at them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in Baptist church they got the motherboard. Oh, okay. yeah, that's a real thing. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought oh you were yeah, the they got the okay. mother's board. They got the they got the uh, 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 they got the first lady's board. The the, the uh, oh, you know. Wow. The, the pastor's aid, they got they got all kinds okay. of uh, 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 okay. auxiliaries in the Baptist churches. Wow. I, I okay. grew up in the Baptist church. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they got wow. you, you. You got a name for an auxiliary startup one. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. But uh, but yeah, and see, I want to, I want to, I wrote some of them down here because you, you got, you got, see, you got these kind of things that's going on. You got this mm -hmm. in the church. You got gossiping, you got backbiting, yes. you got yes. lying, you got mm -hmm. people who still curse, you yep. got people who still smoking cigarettes, you got mm -hmm. people who are, who are, who are cheating mm -hmm. on their wives, mm -hmm. sleeping around. You got people who are still fornicating, but that don't mean that they're not Christians. That, that don't mean that they're not believers. True. It does mean that they got some work to do. Yep. And when you are trying to do your walk and then you look at them not walking the way they supposed to walk and, and the stuff that you're trying to give up, they still doing it. They still in the club on Friday and Saturday night. Mm. But in church, the loudest one in church on Sunday morning, mm. probably because they have drunk or hung over. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wayne T, you need to go to a Baptist church so you can, uh, so you can see if you can smell some of the alcohol on the people. I, that, that... <laughs> well, I, I, I think that um, you have given enough imagery that I don't need to actually. <laughs> <laughs> that you don't want to. <laughs> right? No, no. You're not I'm, I'm good to. with that. You good I'm with good, that? Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny but would you be good with that what you got to say about that <laughs> what i just about, said uh, about any, part, said about, any part any uh, part about, about oh, what yeah, i just yeah. talked about well i think you know um i i remember when i first uh got saved and yeah there's a there's a feeling of of kind of first off relief right yes like man i did it you know finally i'm this is gonna be a brand new thing and i'm gonna be you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good now. Right. And that's what you normally think, right? Like I'm, right. I'm just good. I'm good now. So, right. you know, I'm like, I'm in the club, you know, like yeah. I, I'm part of the team now. Right. right. Um, and, and, and you don't, I don't, the thing that pe people celebrate that happening, which they should. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, and I'm not talking about the person I'm talking about other people. Right. 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 They, they celebrate that and they say, Oh man, that's amazing. Um, I, I, but I think right after that, what should happen is, maybe you get around some people who are very honest mm -hmm. because you need that honesty to get you through what's going to happen next. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Right. Which is a lot of the adversity that you saw before, but now, you know, like I said before, how to approach it, mm -hmm. you know, like that's, that's the, I think that's the, one of the main differences is now that you have a little bit more of a game plan and a guidebook that can help you through the process now. Whereas before you were just kind of winging it. Right. You, you understand what I'm saying? Right. And those people that you see that are in church that 
you you know maybe you saw maybe you were at the club and you saw them and you saw them in church the next day. Uh, the good thing about that is the fact that they're in the church. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, people will look at them sideways. Yeah, of course, because human nature is not great sometimes. Right. 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 Um, and we just tend to we tend to err on the side of judgment as opposed to the side of saying, wow, you know, they did all those things, but they still came to church. How about those people that didn't do those things and didn't come to church? Right. Right. Like, how about the people who say they're Christian and never go to church? Right. Right. Like, you you know, or never, never congregate with other people and try to, you know, learn from each other and and be better and hold each other accountable. How about those people? Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, You're preaching now. You're preaching. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not meaning to. Come on. Oh, let let the Holy Ghost flow. (laughs) Let it flow. Come on with it. (laughs) But I but I think that's what might discourage some new Christians. Right. Yes. is thinking yes. that you're thinking that everybody is going to be um everybody is going to have the right intention toward you yes. and that's not always true that's not always true come on now uh, it's, it's just not yes i mean the, the, those and people it hurts. are still those people it's gonna hurt too it's gonna hurt right. oh, of course it will because yeah. you you're assuming that now that you know you're amongst your christian brothers and sisters Mm-hmm. That you have a, a level of uh, a, an even playing field, yes, where everybody's just going to be good to one another, and and they're, they're going to bring each other, lift each other up, and and all that kind of stuff, and that doesn't always happen, right? You know, if we're going to be one hundred percent honest about it, right? Um, but those people are also working through things in themselves as well, as well, yes, That's and what those we're things about. don't don't change overnight. Right. You can't change 25 years of you doing something not for Christ in a night. Right. It just doesn't work like that. Right. And when you do try to do that, people will look at you like you're crazy because they'll say, oh, he's overdoing it. Like he's he's so holier than thou now. And he's right, all this other right, stuff. Right, right. They'll start yes. doing that. Yes. Um, and, and the people that you used to hang out with the day before, matter of fact. Yeah, yeah will come to you and say, who do you think you are? You were just with me at this place. And now right. you're doing this and now I've you're looking there. down at me. Yeah. 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 But but nine times out of ten, it's really because you you're you are going back to those people with an air of arrogance as opposed to an, an air of explanation mm-hmm. of why you made that decision. Right. If you went if you go back to those people that you smoked with, you drank with. Mm-hmm. And you said, look, I know you're at a different place in life than me. I made a decision. I'm not looking down at you for what you're doing. I know you can do better mm-hmm. because we all can do better. But I'm not going to look down at you because you're still doing that. You you have to come to a personal relationship of when you can make those changes. Mm-hmm. I just got to that point where I want to make the changes now. Right. And then that's it. Right. And then if they still want to be your friend, you know, then you you have to set some boundaries. Right. Right. In terms of places you can be now as opposed to what you used to be. Yeah. And the freedom really is that if you take yourself out of the places where people are doing things that God does not agree with. Mm hmm You will realize that there are way more places you can go than not. Oh, yes. Actually. Yes. It, it, to be real. Yeah. Like. The places that you're thinking that, oh, man, I used to have so much fun in that place. Those are the places that you have to hide to go to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, really? you got to cover yourself up to hide to go in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? When, yeah. you know, like they used to have back in the days, video videos and all this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Those, yeah. In, right, in the stores. You know, yeah. They had a the video the and you behind the curtain. the curtain. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Think yes. about that. You got to hide yes. to go in there. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Think about why you have to hide because people know it's not right. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and, I get what you're saying. And those, <laughs> so those those things right there are telling signs of, oh, I was in the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Not that the people are judging you. It's the people know that that's not the right place and you just didn't know yet. Right. That's all it really is. You you Your eyes were still blinded by the fact that this is a a carnal thing that you have in you that you still wanted an appetite that you wanted to satisfy. Mm-hmm. 
And once you once you get in agreement with God and you all are on a path and you're now looking at it a different way, you start to see that not that those desires go away, but you know those desires don't please God. And so you work towards quelling that. So yeah. and you so, and you replace that with things that can uh, make him feel yeah. good and can good. glorify him and everything else. You know what I yeah. mean? Like it yeah. doesn't go away. Right. But when you get further and further away from it, it's it's kind of like going from one city to another, right? Right. Like you're in that city and it's very comfortable. But once you go on the path of leaving, after a while, you can't even see that other city anymore. Absolutely. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And and that's what it is. It's like it's not that you were never there. Yeah. And it's not like you don't remember the city. Right. It's just that it's so far in your rear view now that it's only a memory now. Yeah. And yeah. you remember that it wasn't the greatest when you were there. <laughs> right. Right. So, <laughs> now, right? Yeah. So it, it felt good when you were there, but now you realize that it was emptiness. Yeah. And so because of that, you go towards a different level now. Yeah. And you're and you're you're just trying to to better yourself. Yeah. And just bettering yourself is a it, it, who can fault you for wanting to better yourself? Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. Who can fault you for I mean, if somebody faults you for wanting to better yourself, they, they are not a friend. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're not they're not a brother to you. They're not a sister to you. They are not somebody who is in your corner because yeah. anybody who is trying to truly better themselves. Yeah. You should be happy for them. Yeah. Absolutely. That's real love right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yes. 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 That's where love comes from is yeah. wanting the better for other people. Yeah. In our household, I want the best for my wife and my kids. As much and more than me. Yeah. Yeah. And why is that? Because I love them. Mm -hmm. So I want what's best for them. And I want better. I want them to have a better time of things than I had. Right. And, you know, you, not, you know not I mean? just not just because you 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 love them, but because you love you. And, and actually, let me let me thank you for saying that, because it's actually not because it is because I love them. Right. And right. I love that God gave them to me, right? Right, First off. right, right. But even, you know, there's some things that, like, when, when we first got, before we got married, mm -hmm. I said to my to-be wife before that, I said, look, it might take a little bit of time before we actually get married. And she was like, mm -hmm. why? And I said, well, because I don't want to get divorced. Uh. So I know, and I know I have to be at a certain point with you and know you. Right. So I, that's never going to happen. Right. Right. Like I and so yes, it took a little bit of time and some people would be like, "Oh, it took way longer than it, than you should have." But who who are they comparing it to? Right. Comparing it to how long it took you? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, guess what? We had friends that after they got married after us that got divorced. Got divorced. Let's just say it right. like that. Got divorced, right. You we know have two. We have two. Right. Yes. And they got married after us. Yes. You, you get what I'm saying? They were yeah. in the same church we were in. They were hearing the same word we were hearing. Right. But I I had a great example and I have a great example in my parents who are still together right now. Mm -hmm. And I knew that I wanted that for me and my family. Right. So I knew divorce was off the table. So let me it ask you. It wasn't an option. Let me ask you, what took you why why i want to i want to hear I, I already know why but yeah. i want i want the listeners and the watchers to hear you mm -hmm. say why it took you so long what were you doing what what was the reason that mm -hmm. it that you, and that made you to wait what what were you doing i'm, I'm trying to get you to say it without me saying it but but <laughs> i don't mean okay i don't yeah. I, I, huh? I didn't tell you why what you mean why you uh, said you said because you don't want to get yeah. divorced you said we're not going to get married yeah. right now because we don't i, I, I don't want to get divorced so why did what what was the reason of why you said you, you not now because because um, what, what was going on for you to in my say mind? yeah what was going on for you to say not yeah. now but i'll let you know when because because yeah. when it when i do say when i say now then that's going to mean yeah. that i i'm ready because i don't yeah. want to get a divorce 
Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I, I think. Well, I, let me tell you, honestly, honestly, I just feel like that was something that God told me. Right. Okay. Um, I, but I can't say it was like, hey, he told me, hey, this is the amount of time. <laughs> and after this right. time, then you can get married. It wasn't that because some people after two weeks can get married and stay married. Right. Forever. Right. 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 I mean, so that's just what it is. Um, right. I just I just uh, and we never. And actually, to be honest, during that time before we got married, once we became boyfriend and girlfriend, we never broke up at all. So let right. me just be very clear. OK. Right. Okay. It wasn't like I broke up and got back together, broke up, got back together. And then I had to be straight about it. Right. Like it wasn't right. that. Right. I wasn't with anybody else. None of that. Right. right? So let's just be very clear. Right. Right. Um, but for me, it was I just wanted to get things in order. Right. Like I wanted to make sure that we had a place to move into. And okay. like, you know, stuff like that. Like, right. I wanted to make sure that um, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure that from from me that it wasn't something that I was prematurely thinking about just because I wanted to be with her only. Right. It wasn't just that. Like, you know, some people would get married because they just want to physically be with the person. Right. And they feel like that's the way to do it. Right. You, right. you know what right. I mean? Like, right. I, it wasn't that at all. Um, right. I, I think, you know, it, it was it was. Really just wanting to get as much as I could get in order. And get myself right. There we could. go. There we you know go. What that's, what I, that's what oh, I. That's, that's what you're waiting for. That's what I was. <laughs> <laughs> I had to draw it out, man. I wanted to make make it very suspenseful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you you really did that. Now you did that thing, right? <laughs> you made it suspenseful. Right. But that right, was the right. exact same thing because now you know yeah. we do uh, 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 we do have a a show coming up where, we, where we're going to talk about marriage. Uh, yeah. You know, husband and man. I, I I think I've told you that already. So we're going to yeah. have a show. I don't want to put too much out there right now on that particular topic. But yeah. uh, but yes, I mean you, that's that's something with but what that me and you we are alike uh, in because uh, my my thing was I'm gonna say it again when we have the marriage show. But my my thing mm -hmm. was was when I got ready to to be married, uh, uh, I asked God to show me my wife, mm. and that's what God did. He showed me my wife while I was still mm -hmm. in preparations of preparing to be. A husband, but I wasn't mm -hmm, ready mm -hmm. for my wife. And see, I didn't even right. know how to say, God, I'm ready to get married. Because I was really right. trying to say, God, I'm ready to get married. But I, <laughs> I, I couldn't say it because I, I I wasn't I wasn't ready and I didn't know that I wasn't ready. But he yeah. did do me, he did bless me with showing me my wife. Right. And he didn't even right. show her. See, and the other component to that, which I'm going to talk yeah. about when we have our marriage uh, uh, um, episode, um, mm -hmm. uh, he didn't show her. See, that was mm. something else I didn't ask God mm. for. <laughs> because when I asked yeah. my wife, when I told my wife that she was my wife, she said, yeah. well, God didn't tell me that I was your <laughs> man. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just a little, that's just a little something yeah, to, yeah, for y'all yeah. to tune in when, when y'all see a yeah. uh, 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 marriage uh, uh, episode yeah. come up, then y'all will know, oh, we finna get, we finna get busy right now. <laughs> you, know, you know, coming from the yeah. husband's point of view and right, the male right, right. point of view of, of being yeah. married. Yeah. But uh, yes, you 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 talked about uh, 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 some things that I now have forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> well, I think God is blinding, is deafening you and blinding you to that aspect, so we can talk about it in exactly. that uh, episode. Probably. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait a minute, wait a minute. As a matter of fact, here, Igor, because I wrote it oh, down. It, okay. Hello, it goes. I wrote it down. But I was going to say <laughs> we, we, we were talking about when you were talking about things yeah. that. Um, mm -hmm getting past and stuff i wanted to let our since we're on this particular topic of christian yeah. living you yeah. know i want to let our, our our people know and this is this the this is when we talk about christian living, we're really talking about everybody it just seems like mm -hmm. we're talking about just the newcomers only but we're talking about mm -hmm. christian living for everybody yeah. that's a christian and right. one thing i want to say and like all the things we were talking about the things that you're still doing that you know it's not right that you're struggling with mm -hmm. that you're still not mm -hmm. doing but you're still going to church you're still doing this but mm -hmm. i learned this and i and i and as a as a as a as a brother christian of yours you know mm -hmm. god wants the very the, god wants the exact thing that we're struggling with to get away from 
to stop mm -hmm. doing. He he's mm -hmm. after that. Mm -hmm. We have to evaluate our lives every single day and everything that we're doing in our life mm -hmm. and ask ourselves, you know, periodically, you know, mm -hmm. God, is there anything that I'm doing? in my life that's not pleasing to you because you know mm. and these and these are some you know gossiping oh boy is a sin yes, yes. yep you know i mean just yep. you know and we all like to talk we don't mm -hmm. gossiping is so it's it is it, so unseen can, can be so unseen that because we all oh. want information you know what they doing <laughs> and and who doing right. what and then ooh right. we and they know yeah. uh but you yeah. ain't hear from me now child you ain't hear from me <laughs> right right, <laughs> you know what right, I'm saying? right. so yeah, we yeah. all know we but we all we all attempted to, to that and so we got to be yeah. careful we got to uplift other people as god mm -hmm. lifts us up when whatever yeah. we impart into somebody else mm. god is imparting into us as well True. the more we help somebody the more we get we receive help you mm -hmm. know because as soon yeah. as you get on this journey and understand and understand a little bit you know you know it's all about helping people don't bad right. mouth people Right. You know, that's why that's yeah. why it plainly says if you have a problem with your brother, your sister, go to them yeah. and talk to them about it. You know, right. Keep it real. Yeah. We well, everybody want to be real, but they ain't real. Keep it real. Be straight up. That, yeah. That's true. Be straight that's up true. with them. You know, yeah, yeah. Take the time, like I said, but you have to learn how to how to approach people, too. You know, what I'm mm. saying you, you just mm -hmm. can't you just can't. Trust me, I I I, I, I can still sometimes be guilty because <laughs> I want to say what I want to say when I want to say it, and and right. probably when I want, especially in the marriage, as yeah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I want to say it when I want to say it, but that might not be the right time to say it. And True. if I wait, if I just wait, and and, yeah. and 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 like you said a few minutes ago, and think about it, mm -hmm. think about the situation, you you could you you could curve it. With, with your words by talking about because a lot of time we when we get in a heated moment we say stuff that we yeah. we say stuff that we think we don't yeah. say stuff that we that necessarily mean right we just say yeah. what we think and we're trying to win a, a verbal uh, argument or battle here yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and 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 in doing that we sometimes injure we really do injure and hurt the other person absolutely you know 100 percent absolutely so so mm -hmm. yeah but 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 again i just want to i just want to say again uh, uh that that you know we have to uh we have to understand that when you go to church that you know people are not perfect right. and you, you know you know you know you judge them with a righteous judgment and understand that you you, you still have trials and tribulations that you're going through as well Mm -hmm. You know, some people, some people know the Bible. I know people that know the Bible way better than I do mm -hmm. on one hand, but mm -hmm. on the other hand, they still curse. They still mm -hmm. use vulgarity. Mm -hmm. You know, I call yeah. it, I call it the, the people that I used to say of old, I don't know if you heard this before, Dwayne, is they, they mm. say, well, God know my heart. Yes, yes, yep. I grew up, my grandma used to say that too. She used to say, God mm -hmm. knows my heart. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, I believed that. But, the, but I grow, I grew up when I was a child. I, when I, when I was, a, when I, when I, when I became adult, I put away childish thing. And I know mm -hmm. it's not for God been knowing my heart. It's for me right. to know the heart of God. Sure. There you go. Come on now. Yep. So that's what it's about. It ain't God knowing my heart, meaning because mm -hmm. the road to hell, and we're going to close with this one. The road mm -hmm. to hell is paved with mm -hmm. people that have good intentions. That's true. <laughs> very, very, very true. Very so, true. so just because you're a Christian does not mean that you still can't bust hell wide open. I like to put it just like that. You can still bust hell wide open being a Christian with your God know my heart self. You're right. Yeah. When you need to be on yeah. the on, on the path because God because God does know your heart, He mm -hmm. knows if He knows if you for real or not. Absolutely. But you can't fool God. Right. Yep. You can't fool yep. Him. That is the truth. And He's with you all the time. See, think mm. about that. Think about mm -hmm. eyes, eyes. We talk about people spying on you. Think yeah. about eyes on you 24-7. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. think about eyes on you 24. They never leave you. They always constantly looking at you. Yeah. You got God eyes, but guess what? You got the devil's eyes too looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> he looking at you too. But one thing about yeah. it is he can't read your mind. He can speak to right. your mind, but he can't read your mind. Right. And he only yeah. knows if you listen, if you heard him by your by your reactions, if you carry it, if you carry it out. Oh, mm-hmm. look at that big old booty walking past there. <laughs> oh, look at that big old booty walk. Oh, and then you, you linger on it. But the Bible says, yeah. bring every thought into captivity. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So while yeah. you're looking at that booty go past there, then you got to say, oh, Holy Ghost, forgive me. Forgive me, God, mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. And start yeah. to learn how to look at women as your sisters in Christ, especially if you're yeah. married. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're married. Mm-hmm. And that's you know, real. That's yeah. one thing you will not, you will not. You know, I, I've learned how to, how to, uh, 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 I got to be careful with saying <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're going to have to say here. (laughs) But as you go in Christ, you learn how to how to look without really looking. Can I say that? Can I say that? I guess. You know, a a dwelling, a dwelling on stuff. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, (laughs) before I get in trouble, you have to reel me back in. (laughs) I want us I to end on a good note here. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. But hey, y'all, it's hey, y'all. Remember, just just remember that. I mean, see see how we laughing and having a good time and with with, with yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's what Christianity is all about. Laughing yeah. and having a good time and understanding that you are on the road to 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 everlasting life. Yeah, you know, Absolutely. for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes right. this, that's right, that God mm-hmm. gave His only begotten Son, mm-hmm. and with that belief, you will be baptized, you will carry it out, you will study your Word, and you you will build a prayer life. Mm-hmm. The four things that I just mentioned, you build a prayer life, mm-hmm. and you will be on your way mm-hmm. to an everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Dwayne, do you need to put a topper on that? Or are we good? <laughs> no topper. I don't know, man. I think I think you you summed that up very nicely. You Thank know, you. I, I think you summed that. Let me ask you. Um, you know, I know we didn't do uh your your normal praise break today. No, we ain't um, got there yet. But, That's how we finna do oh, it. we haven't even gotten there yet. Oh no, okay, we we, we can ready to do it right now. Bad. Oh, I got you. Okay, okay. It's right. Okay. It's right after the discussion See? that we that we do See? our praise break. And thank God. Yes, you were. Yes, you was. And thank God. Tell you, I I know these people don't want to miss the praise break. Huh? <laughs> Huh? Cause see, I know, yeah, I, know. I, 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 I know, I know. I, see, I, I'm gonna tell you something, something about you, Dwayne T. About me? Okay. Yes, yes. See, yes. Dwayne T. and I, we go to the same yeah. church, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, now we sit, we sit across from each other. You know, I have, yeah. I'm one of them old school people, so I got my seat. This is my seat. <laughs> I make if, sure if I, I can get, get it. I yeah. I, well, yep. I make sure I get there enough early enough yeah. so I can get my yeah. seat. Even though yeah, I didn't pay yeah. for it, <laughs> and I can't get mad because somebody's sitting there before, before right. because they beat me there. Right. But trust me, my yeah. I, I don't my I don't have the same spirit if I don't sit in my seat. <laughs> I don't if I don't I, get my seat like that, that Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah I, I'm yeah. still working my way. Please be yeah. patient with me, cause God yeah. ain't through with me yet. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> So right. I'm still no, working on that right there. But listen, yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all this about Dwayne T. Now, Mr. Oh, Mr. Okay. Mr. Used to be Methodist person, okay? I'm gonna tell you this right now. <laughs> <laughs> because I've seen him over there when the yeah. church when the church is is, is, is high in praise and they yeah. singing. I've seen him yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him. Yeah. He don't be yeah. he don't be sitting there like this. He be yeah, up yeah, on yeah. his feet and he yeah. be he be getting yeah. his praise on in the way he gets yeah. his praise on. Right, exactly. Yep. Huh? 
Absolutely. I've seen you over there bobbing and doing your hair. Yeah. I've seen yeah. it all over there. I said, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Mr. 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 Used to be Methodist over there. Now look at him. Look at him over there now. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, it was one of those things where it, it, it took a level of comfort for me to get to that point. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And that, absolutely. and listen, listen, listen. I mean, I mean, you you get there. If you in the and you if you in the barbershop, you're gonna eventually get your hair cut, huh? Hey. Huh? That's what they say, right? You eventually get That's your true. haircut. You know, so if you, you gotta put yourself in the environments, you know, yeah. that you that you need to be in in order to keep your spirit alive and to keep you and to, and to keep you growing, you know. That's Absolutely. why we go to church. We, that's why we go to the building <laughs> yeah. so that we can yeah. so that so that we can we can we can uh, be around other like minded people. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, in this hospital called a church, yeah. like minded people who are still who are not perfect and, and is still working on uh, 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 God helping them to get their life right with him. Right. True. Well, and that's all it that. is. That's all it is. That's it. That's you all. Know? And yeah. so. So. But anyway, yeah. But I just want you all to know, Mr. Calm, even tempered <laughs> uh, voice uh, of reasoning, Dwayne T. Yeah. Does yeah. get his praise on America? <laughs> it's his praise on. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure they were they were having sleepless nights wondering if that's what was happening. <laughs> I love it. 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 All right. So with that, we're getting the praise on. It is praise yeah. break hey. time, y'all. Thirty hey. seconds of praise break. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes,
everybody, men and women, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Like, if right. any man be in Christ, see, the key mm -hmm. here is to be in Christ. That's right. Or have and have right. Christ in you. <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. In Christ. He is mm -hmm. a new creature, a new person. Right. You know, right. that means yes. all things have passed away. That means God has forgiven you for all of the right. stuff. All things have passed away now. You done got baptized. Right. You done took out you, you done, you done, you done put, took off the old and you done put on the new. When you when you got submerged in that mm -hmm. water, you came back up. If they, 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 then you was brand new. Brand new right. all over again. You might have just thought you was just wet, but you was more than wet. Your spirit was reborn. <laughs> Your spirit was born. Uh huh. Right. And so right. now, now this is where the challenge begins. Now you get mm -hmm. out of that water, and now every single day, you got to you got to put in the application. You know, apply right. what you are learning and what you're reading in the Bible. You know, right. and, and and learn from other, read from other people. You know, I mean, get with mm -hmm. other people and read with them, and uh mm -hmm. um. And, uh, you know, and try to learn more about the Bible. But most of all, be focused on building your own personal relationship with God. That is so important that you build right. through his word now, through his word, not your word, but through his word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, you right. Conform your life to the, to, to the word of God. That's what you do mm -hmm. daily. Amen. You know, you're not right. perfect. You know, things might happen. over. Mm -hmm. It may take a long time, but that's OK. But just keep your eye on the prize. You know what I'm saying? Right. Keep your eye on Amen. the prize. So that's all I have Amen. to say. And I thank you, God, for being here. Thank you guys for being here. Girls, women, yes. children, all of y'all for being here. And uh, and we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna have uh, uh the voice of reasoning himself mm -hmm. <laughs> tell us uh what to do about right. staying in, in touch with this channel. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, first of all, if you like the content. Um, that you're seeing and that we are uh, displaying. Uh, then what we want you to do is we want you to like, we want you to comment, we want you to, to share. To share. And also ring the notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> he don't so that like that, y'all. <laughs> Why are we ringing so the bell? So that you can be informed of when we uh, drop new videos on Pastor Fisher's YouTube channel. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Yes. yes very good yes, job. Sir. He just love that bill. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the bill, oh, we yeah. match it too oh, yeah. today. We match it. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> if I had one, I would ring it too. I know you would. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> oh, that's a song. That's a song about it. It's called Ring My Bell. Uh, you can ring my bell. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's your theme song, actually. Uh, no, no. Uh, no, that was back in the day. That, uh, right, okay, I'm okay, not ringing okay. that bell no more. I'm not ringing that. That's right. Now you ring. Now you ring the church bell, right? right there you go. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, the way. Yeah. Come on, take us home and pray right. us out. <laughs> all right. All right. Well. Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity to uh, be amongst each other and to just really express our hearts about what it is like uh, yes, in the Christian life and in church life. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to just be transparent and open about our individual experiences yes, and what we feel we can bring to people that are viewing and listening in general. Um, you do give us a lot of freedom yes, you um, do, in life. Um, and we want people to understand that and to not look at Christianity as something that is just a set of rules that you have to check off on the list. Yes. But really a lifestyle that you can use to be as free and uh, as you can be um, through Christ, who is not just uh, showing you the way, but he also right. demonstrated the way. Yes. So we're very grateful for the time we have here. We just ask that you uh, be with all of those viewers and all of our families and keep us healthy and safe. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, all right. Yeah. Thank y'all so yeah. much. Come back and see us. Remember, every Thursday yeah. night at 7 o'clock, a brand new episode of the Path of right. Show podcast is right here on the YouTube channel. Check That's us it. out. Thank y'all. <laughs> Come back and see us. Hey. Right. Yes, yes, yes. All right, yes. All, right, all, right, all, right. all right, all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
people say they want everything to live a complete 